Welcome to an unplugged activity. We've been plugged in so long to technology, we need a break. It's time to unplug. In this video, we're gonna go over the unplugged activity binary numbers. Here's the activity that we're going to do. So let's open it, download it to our computer, save it to our computer. So once you download it, you wanna go ahead and print this out. So let's look at the document. So here's the document. And obviously you would write your name on there and obviously write your date here. Again, you've you're printing this out because this is an unplugged activity. You should be doing this away from your computer. On the first part, you're going to convert binary and decimal numbers. So you can see here, I want you to convert these numbers from binary to decimal. And down here, I want you to convert these numbers from decimal to binary. And I want you to show your work in this. That's why you're printing this out and doing this away from the computer. If you look at the second and the rest of the pages, then you're actually gonna draw some emojis. You're gonna pick one emoji from each of these four groups, and you're gonna draw the emoji, and then you're going to make the binary representation of that emoji. So for example, here, anything that's white is zero, anything that's black is one. So this would be zero, 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 one, 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 zero, zero, zero. And that's what I have here. Once you have that binary representation, I want you to convert that number into a decimal value. So again, for the second pages, first you're gonna draw an emoji by simply coloring in the pixels here. Once you do that, you will write out the binary representation of those pixels, and then you will convert that into decimal. So you should have four emojis with binary and decimal values. And I've given you a bunch of pages so you have more than enough space to do that. So again, you're doing this away from the computer. But before you go away from the computer, let's really understand how to do binary to convert each way. So over here, let's make up a number. One, zero, one, zero, one. So that's a binary number. And we want to convert that to a decimal number. Binary numbers are only one and zero. So there's two values. That's why you see only ones and zeros. For binary numbers, we have to look at their base. So for their base, I'm gonna change the color. That's gonna be underneath here. We start from the left. So this is zero. This is one. This is two, this is three, this is four. So since it's binary, that means there's only two digits, it's two to that. So for example, it's two raised to the zero, it's two raised to the one, it's two raised to the two, it's two raised to the three, and it's two raised to the four. Well, two to the zero, just so you know, anything raised to the zero is one. Two raised to the one is two. Two squared is four. Two raised to the three, so that's two times two times two. So it's four times two is eight. Two raised to the four, again, we're just kind of doubling these, is 16. And you kind of get it, it goes on to 32, then 64. So it's a really good idea to know your multiples of two. These are the values based on the binary. So if we look up back up here, we have one in this position. Zero doesn't count for anything. We have a one in this position and we have a one in this position. So what does that really mean? We have it in the four position and let's just rename, label these again. So this is zero, one, two, three, 
four, five, six. So up here, I have a one in the four position, so that's 16. So that is 16 plus, I have a one in the second location. So in the second location, that is, down here is two squared, that's four, plus four, plus I have a one in the zero location, two raised to the zero is one. So 16 plus four is 20, plus one is 21, which means one, zero, one, zero, one is equal to 21. Let's do one more just so to make sure that you got it. I'm gonna say one, zero, 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 one, zero. Let's put in our marks. So let's go back to green. So this is zero, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so here I have a one here, so that's two to the fifth. And there I have a one here, that's two to the one. So really I have two raised to the fifth plus two raised to the one equals. Well, if I go back up here to my little chart, two raised to the five is 32. 2 raised to the 1 is 2, so I have 32 plus 2 is equal to 34. So this is equal to 34. Now I'm sure if you're still a little bit stuck, ask me in class on how to convert binary numbers to decimal and I can go over it with you one-on-one. -on -one. Now let's go the opposite direction. So let's go in the opposite direction. Let's say I had the number, let's say I had the number 68 and I wanted to know what that is in binary. Well, how can I do that? Again, I kind of need this chart here. What you're gonna do is get the biggest number underneath this value. What do I mean by that? So it's 68. I'm gonna go in my little chart here. 64 is the biggest, but we can expand this out. Let's make it a lot bigger. So let's say, here's my, let's make a bigger chart. So I'm going to say 256, 128, 64, 32, 16, eight, four, two, one. Let's separate it. And let me put my little locations in and I'll put it on top. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I wanna go from 68 in decimal to binary, what would I have to do? Each one of these locations represents a value. So for example, two to the one represents two. Two to the seven represents 128. Well, 128 is bigger than 68, so I know I'm not gonna have seven digits. So I go down to this one. This is 64. 64 is less than 68, so I know I'm gonna need to have six digits. So let's just draw out six digits. One, two, three, four, five, six and I'll put the numbers underneath that six 
five, four, three, two, one, and zero. So the reason I know I need six bits in order to get 68 is because the highest number underneath 68 is 64, and that's six right here. So since 64 at the six, two to the six is equal to 64, I know that I will have a one here. That one appears equal to 64, so I'm going to minus 64 from 68, and that gives me four left. So now, should I go two to the five? No, two to the five is 32, two to the four is 16, two to the three is eight, well two to the two is four. So I know I need to have a one here because two squared is equal to four. If I minus that four, that gets me zero. So I will fill in the rest of these because I have zero. This 68 in binary is this. Let's just do one other one. Let's say 300 and 27. What is that going to equal in binary? Well, the first thing I need to do is figure out how many digits, how many bits I'm gonna need. So I know this is 256, but if I went one farther out, this would be 512. And that's two raised to the nine. Well, 512 is bigger than 327. So I know that I don't need nine digits. 256 is less than 327. So I know I'm gonna need eight bits. So let's draw that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for the zero. Let's put in our numbers. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. So I already said two to the eight is 256. So I know I'm gonna need a one there. So I'm gonna put one right there. That one is equal to 256. So that is equal to one. I'll mark that out. That's 12, 71. So from 71, two to the seven is 128. That's too high. Two to the six is 64. So 64 is less than 71. So I know I need a two to the six. So I'm gonna put a one here. I'm gonna minus 64 from that. And that gives me seven. So I have seven. Two to the five is too high. Two to the four is too high. Two to the three, which is eight, close, but too high. Two to the four, four, two to the two squared is four. That's less than that. So two squared is four. So I know I'm gonna have a one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and minus that. Two squared is four. So that leaves me with three. Two to the one is two. So I know I need a one. Two is less than the three I have, so I'm gonna need a one here. And down here, I will, let's just say three minus two. So three minus two is one. I have one left and two to the zero is one. So I have a one here. So 
so I have a one here, which is minus one, which gets me to zero. So 327 in binary, I will fill the rest of these that I did not use with zeros. That is 327 in binary. Again, if you're still a little confused on this, ask me in class before you start our project, just to kind of go back over it. Ask me in class and I can go one-on-one -on -one with you to help you understand going from binary to decimal. Like you can see here, this is binary, which is equal to 34 or from decimal to binary as we've just done. So again, going back here, the first thing you're gonna do is convert these and I want you to show your work, convert these values to decimal. And you're gonna show your work here. Down here, you're gonna convert these decimal values to binary. And again, show your work here. On the second page, again, I want you to draw an emoji. So you have four groups, one, two, three, four. I want you to draw an emoji, simply coloring in the grid. You can see my example up here. Once you color in the grid for your four emojis, I want you to put zeros where there's white spaces and ones where there's you've colored it in. So you can see that's my binary representation of this emoji. And then I want you to convert this binary value to decimal. So you're gonna do that for four different emojis and you can see I've given you more than enough paper. Again, this is an unplugged activity, so print this out and do this away from the computer. When you're done, you will take a picture of this and then once you complete this assignment, don't forget to save it and then turn it into your teacher.